All right, all right, all right. I just wanted to explain something because this is what I've been saying. Um, I used to do real estate. I was a licensed real realtor in the state of California um, for about three years. So I'm not a expert in real estate and trusts and deeds and things like that. But I just I do have a basic understanding. Okay. Now I've told people, Umar did not does not like outright own that building at all. He didn't buy the building. He didn't spend four hundred thousand dollars on that building. Okay. And people don't understand because they see stuff that says he is on the deed, right? So yes, people see stuff that he is on a deed. Why? And this is the key. People have to understand this. It's called a second deed trust. Let me just blow this up so everybody can see. Let me just make it a little bigger. Okay. So you have a first deed and a second deed, right? Say you own a commercial property. You're on the deed. First deed, trust deed. Okay. Now you just you just have this property, and you're trying to sell it or do something with this commercial property or what have you. Okay. Nobody wants to buy it. It's a piece of shit, such and such. So the owners of said commercial property are rich and may have money, a lot of money already from past endeavors or what have you. So to own that building, you must have had some money already and been financially okay to own it, okay? So since nobody wants to buy it, Dr. Umar Johnson finds a school and works out a deal with the owner of the school property. And since the real owner is losing money with this just this property sitting sitting there, they need they're, they're taking losses because they can't do nothing with it. Their school closed or what have you. Okay, so to help someone who wants to buy that property, the owners do their own private funding for the person who wants to purchase it. And I believe this is what Umar Johnson did to obtain and secure the school. He's on a second deed trust. So let's just go over this. Um, it says second deed trust explained. Second deed trust. When the money stops flowing, the party is over. Okay? This is a pr precisely what you don't want to happen, especially when you are in the middle of financing or refinancing a commercial property, expending your business, or settling urgent and timely financial matters. Listen to the wording. Urgent and timely financial matters. Whether you qualify for a bank loan or not, another option exists that can move you forward with your financial endeavors. Okay? So Umar Johnson, because he can't qualify for a bank loan, he chose another option. This other option exists that you can move forward with your financial endeavors. An option that provides immediate capital, because it was urgent, <laughs> provides immediate capital for your time-sensitive or complex cash-out transaction. Okay? Junior Financing 101. Knowing how second debt financing operates is essential if you're ready to jump at the chance to secure a second trust deed. What did it say? private loan from a leading investment firm, okay? In its pure form, all deeds of trust, whether first or second liens, are legal documents. So he has legal documents saying he's on the deed. Legal documents of a financial loan agreement between two parties, the owner of it and Umar. The deeds are Excuse me. The deeds of trust are promissory notes that the borrower will repay the lender, the private 
lender in a fixed time frame. Okay. In the case of real estate, the property is used by the lender as a pledge of security. Okay. The second deed of trust allows a property owner to borrow additional funding beyond and subordinate to the first trust deed. Okay. Funding beyond and what? Subordinate to the first trust deed. I mean, there's two deeds and two different entities on the each deed. Excuse me. One ent entity on one deed, another entity on another deed. Okay? The second trust deed effecti effectively acts as a junior lien to the first lien. Okay? Acquiring junior debt on your asset using private, par private party money. Usually is quick and efficient and reasonably priced. That's how he got the property. Because it was quick, efficient, and reasonably priced. Significantly more, private money, second trust deeds offer so much more than the borrowing community than do banks. Because he couldn't go to the bank. He didn't have his paperwork and, 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 and I's and T's dotted. Uh, he had a problem with his nonprofit organization. Is it legit or not? You know, things like that. People just don't give you loans for no commercial property, <laughs> you know, that much. Okay? As you, okay, and here's the goal. So they're just telling you the features. Private lenders, it's saying. Banks. The private lender was the owner in their financial institution they have or all the money that they have that they can create a loan for someone who's trying to get their property on a second deed. Okay. As you can see, second deed trust from private lenders offers substantial versatility compared to a second compared to second deed private provided by banks, okay? There isn't a project that you can accomplish with a 1.5 million dollar max loan from a private uh, money second deed trust. Furthermore, when it's time, when the time is of the essence, the short closing and loan processing time processing times with private money, second trust deeds are the best financing options available. Okay. Okay. This says uh, uh, how private client investments, Inc. can serve you. Private client investing is here for you if you if if you require a second trust deed for a real estate loan in California. Private client investments, Inc. offers seamless funding solutions through rigorous underwriting due diligence and every and attention to every detail through private client investing. You can harness the power of private money second deed trust to accomplish your financial objective. That's how Umar got that property. They are two deeds. He is on the second trust deed. And if he reneges, let me see, because they have certain terms, like a bank loan, you know, 60 months, whatever. So, it's, it's, it's flexible with these private lenders, and they may have terms from 6 to 36 months. So, Umar probably has about 3, 4 years to make something really happen. You know what I mean? Or, they'll have to do some more paperwork. <laughs> so, I've told people, I don't think Umar owns that building outright. I don't think he bought it for four hundred thousand because sometimes you can write out, work out deals with the uh, uh, first trustee person, and maybe just put down, okay, you bought it for four hundred thousand or whatever. But not in reality. It just shows that on the paperwork. Umar does not own that building. I'm trying to tell folk. I'm not one hundred percent sure, but. I'm 80% on Umar got a second deed trust. Excuse me, a second deed trust. Now, 
I may now, because I was saying, let me contact my ex-broker and maybe they can look into it and find out the deeds and see the names and we can just bust this wide open. <laughs> but I'll see what I can do. But that was just, this is just my explanation on how Umar got that school. I don't believe he spent anywhere close to even a hundred thousand dollars. He may have put down a hundred thousand, but when it says he does not own this building, he's in jeopardy of losing it if the first deed trust people uh, 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 put him out once his terms of agreement is over. And as you see, it says terms of agreement six to 36 months. 36 months is three years. How long has he had that building? When that 36 months come, shit gonna change. When that three year time period comes up, shit's gonna change. All right. That's all I wanted to say. And I'm out. We got you, buddy. We got you.